Hello and welcome Pocket Watch here and it's about time for another episode of DS Era. Let's go, let's go with the interview with Kaiziko Bay. It's been a week or even two, I'm not sure anymore. But I hope that we are back on the schedule. I say I hope because I still have like one week of like some stuff to do, but I have actually time to record this time. I won't have next uh, week, so I will try to do as much as possible to like ensure that we're going to have like episodes on schedule but we can still miss something uh yeah i think like we will just go with the episode then uh with that little like info like it's been like really tough week and next one is going to be better but still yeah although i was supposed to like record to the right first or fata morgana but the game is just refused to work for some reason and this era is the only one that actually works so i guess we're starting with this era <laughs> anyway yeah because i'm late like with every single like novel on the channel anyway let's go indolin rosenkrantz the fuck where am i what happened last time it's been so long but we still have a dream Oh yeah, Claudia was like dreaming about like the guy, right? And yeah, Louis the fuck, yeah, and he just shut down. Okay, yeah. yeah. Upon hearing these words, I felt revelation strike me like a lightning of bolt, uh, bolt of lightning. Okay. Oh, we have like we are going to back to the backstory again. メトセライア。だが、of course not. The dark is mere phenomenon with no inherent good or bad to it. Humans depend to be diurnal, so they have the primal fear of night ingrained into them. From the days of being hunted by nocturnal predators, it was given to them. Now that they merely take it for granted. After all, two animals living in the night, the dark is nothing but bliss. Okay. Okay. Okay.その子供を形さえ持たないはず。お前の答えに感じるものがあるというのは認めよう。だがあまりにも現実味がなさすぎる。a humanoid darkness. Simply preposterous, I say. Actually, I was unable to agree to that. In response, the magician gave an exaggerated gesture of lament. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> Mercurius, goddammit. Seems like it. So basically, Louis Metusalaya or whatever his name is, is a magician like Usauka, right? Basically, he doesn't have like Evicate or anything, Mercurius didn't give it to him, but he have a magic like Usauka. Like, to make it simple, okay? And he's like, yeah, he's dark magician. As I was told that memories flowed to me uh, back to me and they know that in response the recollections were distant and vague, but they hadn't faded enough for me to consider them a dream. What's the megaliths? What's the megaliths? I have no idea what that means. 
That's like a shadow or something? What is that? Megaliths. So can you let me know in the comments what that is? Jingo are the megaliths like um the airships? Is it is it that? <laughs> the Mercurial man formed a green and directed his finger at me as if to straighten his point. Strengthen his point. I like that shot. Oh my god. Age of gods. Okay. God damn it, Mercurius is so good. I love how shade. Just we we just seeing his shade here. This is so awesome. Deity born that era. Wait, are you suggesting that he's a god basically? But, the... but he can be... I'm kinda confused. Actually, wait. From what I know, Mercurius didn't have like every gate and stuff because he gave it to everyone, right? So they have like easier time to achieve the throne. So it's like... So Mercurius is suggesting that like Metu Metu Galaya something is, is something like him basically so he's like a deity like a god that have like natural powers so basically a magician that have like so much power that he's like basically a god it doesn't seem like that but Mercurius is like implying this here I guess I just remembered it. Okay. As if celebrating the truth about me and cursing some parts of himself. Have it not meeting spite. Bye. At that moment I felt like the man. No, the world underwent a change. Until then I perceived him as the flowing body of Mercury, but suddenly his shape was clear. Oh. Oh, he couldn't perceive him because he's like, he was like on such a higher like level of power and dimension maybe. And since he like learned about his true self, about being a deity from him, from Mercurius, then he can like perceive Mercurius on like equals putting maybe so he can like perceive his uh, form is that what's happening here? it felt familiar but I didn't feel like I actually knew it what I did know was that the unique agate eyes that were looking at me were ravished by the by a profound sense of resignation despair and madness <laughs> I mean, kinda? <laughs> yeah? Hirama, <laughs> his remarks were unpleasant. I felt as if they were collided around my origin, so I didn't try to bite back at him. Coiled around, yeah. I focused entirely on finding the specifics uh, of his answer. でも俺のことを最ずる Okay, 
That's a nice philosophy. That's that's actually kind of true. Okay. I could remember it well. It's been uh, I've been born in that age, but eventually I began wandering the night all on my own. The magician replies to my sharp, truth seeking words with nothing but clarity. Origin is dying. Okay, the origin of magic? What is the origin? Did we learn like something about like origin, whatever he means here in this era? Did I forgot something? Or it's some it's or it's some new concept that we just got here. Can you let me know in the comments? Maybe I'm not supposed to know this yet. Or maybe it's been said in this era, but I just don't remember. And thus he said apathetically, and thus he said apathetically, there was nothing strange about it fading of time. Okay. Okay。老人よりは青年の方が強く健やかで美しく発散する命の波動が周囲を鮮やかに彩っていくもの。Oh, that's the serpent. Yeah, that's more curious. Okay. The excessive emanation of his divinity gave birth to being much like their parents. Ha! Huh. And I was one of them, he claimed, like the father blatantly blessed, uh, blessing the beard of a child. Ha! Huh. Okay. So we have origin of Mercurius here, I guess. Okay. Oh no, this is origin of Metu 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 Sla Thalaya something like the Louis. Right? That's what he implies. Botaina so can be a rebel. He said Chimo Mata Ginking. I went and spoke a comparison that I felt he would use. A flourishing supernatural of the past age was only because God, the world, was young. Someone was seated at the center of all. It was the apotheosis of existence and the originator of sorcery. All of creation, to the nat nature, nature and color, the prayer he'd waved, and the after effects he granted, the world came to be known as the arcane. The idea, the idea seems perfectly reasonable. If there was a a being that could make all of the heaven and earth with a mere let there be light. It was unnatural for the one by uh, byproducts of the feet to, be, to become great powers in the hands of man. And those who'd used them nonchalantly pled for more. They uh, treated the steps of the father effectively, repeating his words let there be light, let there be light, let there be light. Because of that, magic had immense effects. There were flying pl uh, palaces, fantastical beasts, and even nature personifies, personified. The, wa the war god of lightning, the earth mother of the land, the gods of winter, water, fire, and darkness. Okay. 
消えていくうん So they say that Methuselahia is like byproduct of the era of gods and he's like actual deity right like he's been born in the era of magic he have like immense magic power and he can be considered as the deity i, I guess that's what they mean right am i right on this i'm missing かといって新しく余剰が生まれるほど大元も元気ではないいずれ尽きる定めだよ世界は死に向かっていると気づいているものがどれだけいるかは知らんが You are unaware of something? That's new ならば私も長くはないのだ Oh? Because origin is dying? I'm, 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 not, I'm not sure what to make out of this origin like what origin what do you mean like do it do, like origin of magic i guess but like sure but what does that even mean we not like learned that before that was probably the reason why i gave my questions to people and judged them worthy of death if they had no answer i might have actually been aware of the truth about myself those who couldn't see the world uh, was dying and knew nothing of dark, me, was as good as nothingness, and thus they had no reason to live. All this entity still living under this law. Yeah, like. In the stories, apparently, he's been known for like living like for thousands of years for no reason, right? Or something like that. <laughs> huh. The strongly sincere price uh, made me for myself looking green. Though it was true that I'd live long, I'd never believe it was some sort of achievement. Good question. If the origin is dying and everyone else just like vanished or whatever, then why you did not? That was the last question I had. It was mostly directed at myself, but the magician gave a clear answer regardless. Oh! Oh, I mean, he mentioned that he's a deity, right? So he's like closer to becoming the god than the other people that were here. つまり諦めが悪いのだろう。この世界もどうように追いさらばえながら何とも渋とい。それは聞く。叶えたい望みがあるからではと考える。望む願い。<laughs> Uh, that might have been true, like I just thought I'd lived an empty, ridiculous life with no achievements to name. Not exactly because I had something I saw, for I never allowed death to blame me. It was a sentiment, born of pride, I merely wanted to prove that that was that what was inside of me, and was more than just a void. <laughs> I mean, he's much more. Man gave me answers, showed me the way, and knew the prosperous age of mythology. He too was definitely an ancient figure, so I wanted to know him better. I wished to hear what he was seeking. Yeah, you kind of forgot your craving. You are so old. Interesting. So, is it possible, like, 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 he's going to die, okay? Like, he's not in this era. Okay, he's not in this era, so something happens to him. But, uh... 
does it mean that Metusalaya have like had like potential to actually claim the throne? I wonder if he have potential to do this. He. <laughs> Theo Theophrastus von Hohenheim. Okay. Spoke as though he already knew that our paths would cross uh, once more. I heard Hohenheim before, but I don't know that Theo. I had no idea that's his name. Or. Yeah. I had no idea. I don't know. <laughs> その気になれば、かつての意を震える神の剣族。最後の神秘だ。Dependent of God, the last arcane. Dependent of God. Okay. So he's not like a god, he's like like he said deity. I guess. I mean, deity god same thing kind of. Yeah, like byproduct of gods of magic. Okay, let's, let's, just, let's just call him that, I guess. You will probably like explain this whole thing to me in the comments, right? That's so I will like understand it better. I knew that he would surely have a new name when we met. Uh, when we next met, I decided to follow his example and learn such an artifice myself. Okay. I had finally learned the truth of my nature that I was the dark. And no matter how many names I don't over the years, that singular fact remained unshaken. Okay. Oh, and we're back to the interview with Casey Kublai. Oh. I heard my name and felt someone shake my shoulders. The fucking sunlight was leaking in and touched my cheeks, making me painfully aware that it was morning. But it wasn't like I had a reason to wake up, I hated mornings, and I wasn't employed or anything. I had more than enough justification for laying in bed instead of, st of starting the day like an ordinary person. <laughs> well, probably I'm not having this. And that uh, was why I continued sleeping and asked her to keep quiet, however... Yeah, she's not having it. I finally realized that the, that the situation was weird and jumped awake. Oh? What do you mean weird? <laughs> yeah, been a while since I've seen Claudia. Claudia was right in front of me, sitting on the floor and looking at me with mi with mild anger in her eyes. What the fuck was going on? What, what do you mean? Yeah, I'm I, I I'm with Claudia here. Like what? I'm confused. Oh, oh, okay. He meant like um because she's been like in the bed like for a few days or something, right? She couldn't like wake up or, or, or like stand up basically, right? So now she's like just normal again, like healthy. Okay. I guess she rested enough. Just last night she was completely unable to even leave bed. Yeah. Sure, she was an idiot that didn't care about her health, but it should have been physically impossible regardless. And yet she got uh, got up, walked all uh, the way to my room, and woke me up like it wasn't a big deal. Plus, even putting all that aside, I could smell that she was making breakfast. What the fuck? After looking at me, completed the uh, loss of words, Claudia finally realized what I meant and got up while dusting off her backside. <laughs> Yeah, like you just, I guess, rested enough for a few days. You could just w wake up. 
Oh, so so you felt like tired, you woke up and you like suddenly oh wait, like nothing's wrong with me. Okay, that's weird actually then. Clarita pulled up her chest proudly. She didn't seem to be bluffing. Yeah, 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 like if your like fatigue just like not like gradually went away. I would understand if you like felt kinda better last night and you like just could like walk and stuff like next day sure but she claims like it's just happened suddenly so that's weird it made so little sense that it was left i it was left feeling annoyed i hadn't i hadn't the slightest clue about what happened to her body it seems like a miracle but there was no way i was buying into that shit the situation was far too strange for me to just let it slide, so I had to do whatever I could to find the truth. Okay. I just out and touched Claudia's neck. I wasn't a doctor, so I couldn't examine her thoughtfully, but I could more or less learn her overall state by checking her blood flow. Devolution? She was all normal. There was nothing strange about her pulse. Sure, there was some sign of anemia, but they weren't strong enough to sign she was a bad state. Yeah, compared to how she was last night, she really wasn't kidding that she was feeling good now, but... There was something really weird about her, but I couldn't tell what. Interesting! Huh. I mean, she might be like Trifa, right? Like I said, like before, before like Trifa had like Epicades or everything, he also been like very devoted and he could like read the mind and stuff. So maybe she have like some kind of like weird like psychic power to like Trifa or maybe not psychic power. Maybe she can like, I don't know, heal, heal faster basically. Maybe like she can like regenerate faster or something like that. Maybe? <laughs> that would kind of explain why she's like be all better suddenly. Maybe she's just not aware of that because it's not as invasive as like, you know, minds of others invading your mind all the time. And she feels like, and she always felt just like, yeah, I'm healthy. Like, nothing weird with this. <laughs> I was unable to figure out anything. Also, I should move my camera, but I will do this like for other like recordings. So you cannot see this hand actually. You can see this one. I don't know. It feels weird when I'm like off. I should be like more like on this place. I think. Anyway. The words uh, were so off mark that I reflexively let go of her neck. Then Claudia gazed at me, a pleased expression on her face. Okay. Seems like it, yeah. It's like a triumphant pose. I wanted to slap her stupid head around, but I was able to hold my, myself back. I could have explained it all in detail, but she still wouldn't have gotten my point. You know, she's probably just interpreted in the positive light, regardless. It would have been a waste of energy and breath. Anyway, it didn't make any sense, but if she really was alright, I had to, to just go along with it. With that conclusion, I have it an exa uh, exhausted sigh. Okay. You just been ill, I know you feel better, but Jesus, calm down. Yeah, you just like woke up from what? Potatoes? Just how fucking stupid was she? Wow. 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 I love their interactions. This is so good. I halted her, but she showed no intention of backing down. 
When my frustration reaches peak, I turned around so quickly I almost punched her. <laughs> Wow. Wow. Oh. Yeah. I like when we have like full sprite of like character. This is cool. We can have, have like relative height of the characters then. Kinda. Hopefully, like, we could, like, see someone else, like... I want to see, like, Bay next to her here. But it's not going to happen because it's, like, first person from Bay perspective. But that would be cool. Well, we have, like, them together on the... Um... In the main menu, so I guess, like, we know their heights, difference and stuff. Yeah. The best thing that would have happened uh, here was her becoming a bit more perceptive. With that thought, I walked out into the dazzling sunlight to buy some damn potatoes. God damn it, the damn potatoes! <laughs> what a shitty way to start the day. Damn it! The potatoes. <laughs> Apparently, the bad start to the sign that the day just wouldn't get any better. And that I had to deal with this stupid shit for its entirety. After all, it was long until I was met with another fucking disaster. <laughs> Great! Oh, Jesus. Nice. <laughs> and we are meeting with Samuel. Well, I will keep this episode a little bit shorter. Uh, and I will just save and finish the episode here. We are going to buy potatoes in the next one. Uh, yeah, so interesting episode, we just learned that Metusalaya is some kind of like ancient being, kind of like Mercurius, but not really, like byproduct of gods and magic. He lived in the era of magic and he's basically a deity at this point. So he have like magic powers just like Mercurius before he attained the throne, I guess. And he's like much like higher basically being than the like nowadays magicians like Rusalka, let's say. Like he said like nowadays magicians are nothing. Like before like children could fly, now yeah. And stuff like this. Interesting. I wonder if, like, Metusalaya actually, like, if he would be okay and he would, like, fight, basically, for Throne or something. Could he have a shot on Mercurius? I don't think so. But, who knows? I mean, he's kind of dainty, apparently. Seems like it. And Claudia seems to have, like, some weird regenerative powers, I guess. Maybe it's like byproduct of like, you know, being devoted and faithful and stuff, just like trip ahead when like he's been like hearing voices basically. So maybe it's a similar thing. Well, pretty convenient for her, I guess. So maybe she's not like in S uh, you know maybe she doesn't have like a month to leave. Basically, maybe that's her initial diagnosis. What, what, uh, what was her diagnosis? But no one knows that she can heal, basically, from like... Uh, maybe... She had like some kind of power that is like... When she's like on the... Like a verge of like dying or exhaustion or something... Her power just like kicks in and like regenerate her or something, you know? And she's like feeling better, so basically cancer will not kill her. Basically. And she's not aware of that. Huh. Well, anyway. Next episode, potatoes. Thank you for watching. I will see you in the next one. Leave up a like if you like the episode. Subscribe for more. Check my Discord and become a member. If you would like to support me and see this episode earlier. Thank you once again. And for the pocket watch, let's go out.